What's going on, guys? So as promised, I said I was going to break down the video of me shorting the bet sites from, you know, one part, two part. The first part being the back, the rear, and the second part being the front. So that's exactly what I'm doing. So this is a continuation to part one. Um, you know, the reason why I want to split it apart is because if anybody wants to see this video, they can they can come back to it and, you know, don't have too much information to, to you know, to, to have to process and analyze and all that good stuff. So I apparently have the one that has the, I guess, that has this whole space here, this whole space here, right? So um, I'm gonna have to move this pocket here and then going to have to cut from here to here my 14 inches. So I think that's exactly what I gotta do. It's gonna be from here to here 14 inches. And then we were going to remove this and then put it here and this re relocate it here. And then that should give me, 14 inches should give me this inch and a quarter over here. And then should be able to, you know, tack it all back together. So again, I am following the brothers guide video. So you guys can definitely look that one up. It definitely explains it very well. Um, you just got to do it, you know. So I'm just doing it to show you guys that I, that it's doable. And if a dummy like me can do it, so can you. So once again, because of the type of bedside that I do have, I cannot do what the video on Brothers has. I have to do something else. I know uh, the, the video on the Brothers um, page, he goes a little bit further down. So it just basically just moves the pocket down to here. But because we don't have that type of bedside, we have the other one that he shows um, that he's not cutting. I have to do it this way. So however, I already kind of measured it, you know, made sure that um, I'm going to have 14 inches from every single spot that I'm going to cut. As long as you have 14 inches from every single spot that you're going to cut, you should be able to put it back together. Now, uh, for what I can see or forecast, or is that even a word forecast? This is going to be a little bit more challenging. I thought the rear, uh, now looking back at it, I, it was definitely challenging, but it wasn't, it wasn't like anything that I haven't experienced before in having to do. Again, but I do have a little bit of experience with this now, before I didn't. Now with this, I know this is gonna be a special type of challenge. The reason why I'm saying that is because how close I have to cut to here. And I can't dig deep because it has the other side that's there. You don't wanna go through that and have some sort of issues uh, and all that good stuff. This is basically how you're gonna do this bedside. Um, I think it's gonna come out okay, um, but y'all let me know. Again, uh, in the last video, uh, the part one video, I did the back, right? So here it is, um, it looks great. I think it looks phenomenal, looks great. I would not be embarrassed at all to throw this on a truck. Um, we do have other trucks that we bought um, and there's obviously other videos coming up, but however, I do, do not, I, again, I'm not embarrassed about this. So it could be worse, I've seen worse too. So, so far it looks, it looks completely normal. So we're just gonna tackle this, uh, it's kinda late, so I'm gonna wrap it up and then start back tomorrow. Now on the back side. So, because again, I have the bet side that uh, he doesn't cut on the brother's video, I have to do a little different. But this is kinda where I might deviate from the video, but I'll explain uh, how in just a second. Um, in the video, he did mention that if I do have the specific type of bet side, um, you have to remove the pocket and move it to this section right here. This is another little raised section where the uh, where they where the pocket goes for the short bed size, right? For the short ones, uh, he he mentioned remove this, then go about an inch to three quarters of an inch this way, and cut right there, and then that's where you're going to get your 14 inches out of. However, because I, as you guys can see, most of it is out. There's just a couple stubborn spot welds. So I'm going to actually remove this part completely 
remove this part completely and uh, free it. And I think that's gonna allow me to work with that a little bit easier, a little bit better. Uh, however, I don't know, I forget how he does it in the video, but pretty much I think he advises against that. He does one side and then he, he starts taking it into pieces, but I'm gonna try to do it my way, whether I'm successful or not, we'll see. I'll let you guys know if I run into little, any little hiccups. But as of now, I'm gonna be cutting here and I'm gonna flip it around and then cut on the other side. Moving on to the other side, as you guys can see, kind of messed up there, but it's, it's, it's doable, I can do it. Uh, but yeah, so now I'm gonna move on to this piece and then just literally cut the whole thing off. I did cut through the bottom. I kind of clamped it or um, doesn't uh, move up and down as I'm cutting in, hopefully it doesn't make it harder. So here we go. Perfect, so I was able to detach this from the front. So this here and this are gonna be, so that here and this are gonna become the new front. And uh, so now, like I mentioned, because of the way the pocket sits here uh, in the tack welds, it was gonna make it a little hard for me to, to remove that. So now what I'm actually gonna do is cut from that way all the way over here and then just cut it out and see if, uh, if that'll work. Um, and we'll see. I think I went pretty straight. There's a couple spots where I was like, oh my goodness, definitely not straight. But for the most part, pretty straight. I don't think it's gonna be as bad as I think, but you just never know. All right. All right, a quick safety note. Make sure you guys change these often. These, these uh, cut, cutter off wheels. These are the Harbor Freight ones, so they're kind of shitty, but still change these often because you don't want one of these breaking and hurting you and always wear eye protection. Okay, so I have a couple things to share. I, first and foremost, um, you know, we got it. Looks like we got it. However, this was not the easiest thing ever on earth. I, when I cut it, um, I had super huge gaps here. But luckily, like I said, thankfully, some of my uh, experiences that I've had so my experience that I had with this already has helped me to do this, but it was definitely a challenge. Um, I had to close the gap by getting a ratchet strap, tying it from that end down there and one of these holes and ratcheting it down so it brings it together and I got it done right. Now, um, flipping it over, I made one big major mistake. I accidentally, not accidentally, I went too close to the to the actual edge where it did not allow me to uh, be able to use the little clamps. So I, I had to kind of wing it and I did it kind of the wrong way. However, I kind of figured it out and I think we can, we can, I can make it, I can make it work. Um, again, on this side, I did have to use a ratcheting strap to bring in this corner right here, as you can see. I used it here and then I tied the ratcheting strap over here and I brought it together. And then this is just cake now. It's not a big deal. However, obviously, like I mentioned, relocating the pocket's gonna be, it's gonna go here and we're gonna do all that good stuff, uh, getting rid of that. But for the most part, it's kind of already here. I'm gonna um, do more, more welds, more tacks along the line and then just have it ready, have it ready and uh, I'll keep going with the process. But again, if you have any questions, Please let me know. Alrighty, so here on this end, I couldn't, like I said, I couldn't even use the clips, but uh, somehow I just ended up, this ain't nothing. We're, this, this will shape it back into place. That's not really what I'm worried about, but everything here seems to be fine. So I'm, I'm able to kind of bend it to shape and get it right. Alrighty, so sand it off some of the, grind it off some of the, the welds I made just to kind of get rid of them and get a better look of how this is going to end up. But yeah, I think this is going to end up great, you know? I think it's going to it's gonna look good. I was a lot less scared when I messed up. Definitely, I don't know if I messed up per se, but I was a lot more scared with this front for the few reasons that I, I thought and I knew was going to happen. But honestly, um, now that it's all put together, it should be kind of downhill from here. Just making sure I don't get it too hot and all that good stuff. But yeah, it was a little scary, man. Little scary. Not even gonna lie. 
Alrighty, guys, so we're pretty much done here in the back. Um, this is how it came out. Uh, there's a couple spots right here that I'm not going to get because it's just kind of hard to, to get into. But uh, I mean, I could because I can get a little grinding wheel and do it. I'm probably gonna do it. But for the most part, I'm pretty much done. And uh, this is how it came out. So this is on the inside part of it. Now, if you guys notice, it doesn't have a stake pocket. Um, I'm gonna be doing another different video on uh, on how I'm gonna create a stake pocket with uh, with the with the stake that's a uh, uh, stake pocket. The original one. I'm just gonna shift it, which is gonna pretty much come here. It's gonna cover all all this in in a sense. So um, that should definitely uh, uh, you know be a different video. But yeah, guys, this is it. I'm done. Um, I like it. I really do like this way because it's the cut here is very minimal to see. So you won't even be able to tell. And you all you have to do is again create that stake pocket, stake pocket, and uh, and you should be good. And then it'll cover it, and everything else should be a little bit of filler, literally just a little bit of filler, and you'll be good. And then it and, and the awesome thing it's it create it keeps that normal kind of original short bed dip here all the way through here going to remove that and cover that hole because original short uh short bed didn't have that and then back here like i mentioned it's just literally this you can literally uh you know grind that down and color it and you can't even tell it was moved um so this is the back part i am going to be flipping it and showing you guys the other side so this is the opposite side, which again, I feel like just looks great. This one was probably my best work, honestly. Just kept it nice and tight along here. Just again, just a little sanding, making it even. Doesn't even really need any filler, maybe just a little filler. But yeah, this is it right here. You know, this was a little bit of a challenge. Can still grind a little bit, but hey, this was all rotted out and I just made it gave it enough to where it just put it back together. And then, yeah, this is it. And then this is a little step right here. The stake pocket's gonna go here. And then that's pretty much it, so. And then obviously the rear, there's a different video. So there it is. It's uh, short bedded. So all in all, yes, this was, a, this was a challenge. I'm not gonna lie, this is, uh, thankfully, like I mentioned in the other video and probably this one, I do have a little bit of experience with welding and experience with uh, thinner stuff, right? Thinner gauge uh, steel. Um, again, challenging, definitely that 8 out of 10 level, uh, but with a little bit of experience, you should be able to do it. Um, I think the biggest part was for me that I kept calm. I typically panic when, you know, things don't go my way. I have to step back and clear my head but with this i maintained a, a level head a cool head thought about solving the problem not why the problem occurred right definitely learned some uh some lessons with this that i'm going to be applying to the other side um and yeah I, again i think i think it came out pretty pretty decent and uh again the other video is going to have me doing the steak pocket here and covering that up right there so the one that's in the middle so thank you very much guys if you guys like this click like subscribe comment um truly appreciate it man thank you very much um and hopefully enjoy the video